Leads are not the way to build your business. They're important, but they're not the only way. So you need to have a way to actually convert the leads. 100 leads don't do anything if you don't close any sort of appointment. So how do you solve that problem? Well, you solve the problem by utilizing a very strategic marketing funnel. So if you take a look at what we have here, this is called the home improvement funnel that we designed. What it does is it takes all of your assets. So your existing database, purchase list of all of the homeowners that live in your area, social media posts right here, Google ads, Facebook and Instagram ads, TikTok ads, email, local SEO, it does not matter. These are all tactics up here. It's not the strategy. This whole thing is the strategy and the tactics up top only lead people into this machine, which is the strategy. Now you can see that everything takes you to one place and that is the offer. The offer is presented on usually a landing page, but it can also be presented on other mediums like a Facebook form or a TikTok form or something along those lines. Once somebody takes your offer, you need to immediately get in contact with them. But before you do that, you want to upsell them on providing you with their address so that they are opting in to receive direct mail. Now, this is a way for you to build a targeted direct mail list so that you're not just spraying all of these letters all over, all these postcards everywhere without getting any results. So this is a way that we can say, hey, look, do you want a free catalog? Because if you do, just give us your address and we'll send it. But if we just ask everybody for their address, we're not going to get as many leads. So we just ask for name, email, and number and what they're interested in. Usually they'll be interested in whatever ad they clicked on. If it's a Facebook or Instagram or a TikTok ad, whatever it is, we want to make sure that we capture as much information as we possibly can from the start. And as soon as they enter their information on either an ad or whether they land on a landing page, you know, whether it's ad to landing page basically, or whether it's, a, you know, an SMS marketing campaign going out to your uh, database of your book of business or a new list that we purchased, or whether it's a post on your Google My Business, where we're working on increasing the SEO, everybody needs to go to the exact same place. They need to be brought directly to the offer. And when they're brought to the offer, they need to be added to a CRM. It's not just about getting the leads, right? We need to keep track of all the leads. And this is what a smart CRM will do. This is what keeping organized will do. So as soon as you get the lead, just know that you don't have to necessarily close them right on the spot, right? Because once they, if they say no, you can see here, they go into this annual nurture funnel, which basically every single month, they're positioned with a new offer and something that they should do for that particular month. Now, this increases the actual value per lead as opposed to up the sales ratio rate of your marketing qualified leads to your sales qualified leads from the calls coming in to the appointments going out. Now, what we want to do is we want to make sure every single lead goes through the same process because if they go through the same process and it works well, which it will, then it's scalable and it becomes a system. And now all we need to do up here is increase the budget and you can buy a bigger list as soon as, you know, more customers and more leads come in, you add them to your customer database. And that goes down to the SMS campaigns, your email list gets bigger. Look, the company with the biggest email and SMS list is going to win the company that has the best CRM management pipeline management is going to win. And that's really what it's all about. It's about having an overall strategy. So what happens if it actually turns into a booked install where they get let's say a $30,000 install or something like that. What we want to do is we want to immediately get the review, which you're probably already doing but you want to also snooze them so that they're not getting you know more marketing messages for a little bit you want to have them sit on it for a little bit and then you want to then get back to cross-selling and upselling after about three or four months right you don't want to stop selling just because somebody bought right so this is the point of a funnel it keeps people going on and on and on throughout the year every single day and what's cool about it is check it out look you got all these ads up here they're leading to the offer and if it's a yes and it's a new lead you get a notification we do a little sales qualifier make sure it's an actual good lead so we're not just sending you you know crap leads and we get the call you get the appointment set and then if the appointment is a no we snooze them for a little bit then they go into next month's offer and they go into the email marketing sms marketing the retargeting ads when it's a yes it's a notification sales qualifier call appointment set until it's a job book and then you get that upgraded mini split and the money the point is here is that you can see this is a big circuit right just another way of showing but this is the actual blueprint now and that's what you need you need a blueprint so if you want more information on how this works this is a new way of doing marketing so internet marketing is change. I don't know if you noticed, but SEO is not the same. PPC is not the same. Everybody is changing and you need to stay up with the time. So this is about what you can do right now to better your overall marketing system. If you want to set an appointment, we do offer a free consultation. Just book a call. Just make sure that you write down any questions you have. We can make sure we get to it. Make sure that we provide answers and solutions right away. And we'll just chat and see if it's a good fit. And if it's a good fit, then we'll get to work. But either way, I hope to speak to you soon. Hope that we can provide value regardless whether we work together or not. And I hope you have a 
a lovely day.